Hey, what's up guys? Ian here and today we'll talk about the D-Link DIRX3000Z. It's a Wi-Fi 6 AX3000 mesh router, which we have been using for quite some time right now. It is the latest addition to D-Link's portfolio of Wi-Fi 6 routers. And so far, it is the fastest that we have tested with the brand. So in this video, we are going to do three things. First up, we will unbox the device. Second thing, I'm going to show you how to set up the router and even set up your mesh network. And of course, we'll do a quick review of the router. So let's not keep you waiting. So before any of that, please like the video and subscribe to this channel because we are fast approaching 10K. I know it's a small number, but it's a great milestone for us. So thank you very much. Of course, we'll start by unboxing the product. Its packaging comes with a black and red combination, which is quite unusual to the black and purple use we've seen from the previous D-Link device. The packaging is pretty straightforward. We also have the power pack and the gigabit RJ45 Ethernet cable in color yellow. And of course, we have here the D-Link DIR-X3000Z router in full glory. Okay, this is the actual router, and as you can see, it is quite different from the other D-Link routers that we have reviewed in this channel before. The ones that looks like Spaceship in a Star Wars movie, but I'm glad that this time we have a vertical freestanding router from D-Link. And it has five gain antennas here that you can point upwards or in any other direction that you want, because I think this would definitely save some space. The front panel of the device comes with a D-Link logo and eight LED indicators for specific status icons of the router. The icons include the power indicator, internet availability, 2.5 GHz and 5 GHz band, LAN 3, LAN 2, LAN 1, 1, and a mesh indicator. So one unique feature this one has is that it has a physical mesh button at the top. And aside from that, we can find necessary ports here at the back panel that includes the reset slot, the 1 port, the LAN 1 port, the LAN 2 port, LAN 3 port, the power port, and the on and off Button. So okay, with the design out of the way, let's now set up the D-Link DIR-X3000Z Wi-Fi 6 mesh router. You can set up the device via the web management method. If you have experience setting up a router before, this could be very easy for you. Otherwise, it would take you for about 5 to 10 minutes to do so. It is important to complete the setup for us to proceed in the setting up of the mesh network later on. Step 1. While the modem is off, connect the one port of the router to the LAN port of your modem using the Ethernet cable. Your modem should be provided by your internet service provider. Step 2. Connect your computer to any of the LAN ports in your D-Link router using another Ethernet cable. Step 3. Connect the power adapter to your router and turn it on. Likewise, turn on your modem. Wait for 1 minute and when you see the blue LEDs in your indicator, then your computer is now connected in the internet. Step 4, we will use the router's web management tool to configure your network. You can do this through wired or wireless. For wired process, your current setup is now ready for wired configuration. Otherwise, if you want a wireless configuration, all you need to do is connect your Wi-Fi device to your router. The SSID and password can be found at the back of your router. Open up a browser and type 192.168.0.1. The router's web management tool will then be loaded on the page. Step 6, scan the username and password also found at the back of your router and click login. You can now set up the router's name and password. Toggle smart connected if you want to have the same password for the 2.5 GHz and 5 GHz band. So after changing your router's name and password, you are now ready to go. And right now we are ready to set up your mesh network. But of course you need to have two or more routers or compatible routers in order for you to set up your mesh network. After the initial setup of your primary D-Link DIR-X3000 router, get your second router working by plugging it into the wall outlet using the power adapter. Once your secondary router is turned on, simultaneously press the mesh button located at the top panel of the router on both the primary and secondary router. Once the LED indicator turns from blinking to steady, the secondary router is now working and it will have the same SSID and password as your primary router. Alternatively, if step 3 process is complicated for you, you can also connect your primary and secondary router using the Ethernet cable to automatically configure your mesh network. Once the mesh indicator becomes steady, your mesh network is ready. So now let's go to the review. So we have previously discussed the Wi-Fi 6 wireless technology in our previous D-Link review. I'll put the link somewhere here or here. So there are plenty of options for a Wi-Fi 6 router in the market and by far this is the fastest that I've used. 
Technically, this router is powered by a dual-core 1G ARM CPU, which seamlessly facilitates the use of multiple bandwidth tasks at the same time. With the new AX3000 Wi-Fi standards, we now have a speed up to 574 Mbps over 2.4 GHz band and 2,402 Mbps over the 5 GHz band. The D-Link X3000Z also features 160 MHz bandwidth and 1024 QAM which you can take advantage for faster streaming and gaming. On top of that, the multiple user, multiple in, multiple out technology allows you to connect several devices at the same time. One important application for this one is when you have a smart home wherein you have to connect multiple smart devices at the same time. Likewise, this next generation router can deliver data of up to 6 simultaneous streams with less latency. I have more or less 20 Wi-Fi devices connected in my network and I never experienced a considerable slow data transfer. Likewise, the router also supports orthogonal frequency division multiple access. In simple terms, this technology allows you to transmit more data in one single transmission, thus allowing the router to push out more data into your devices. The D-Link DIRX3000Z router employs the target wake time feature. This capability significantly reduces battery consumption of your devices through efficiently scheduling communication to your device when not in use. In contrast of connecting to it 24-7, this feature protects and preserves your device's battery health by conserving the amount of time needed to transmit power from your device's antenna. Similar to other Wi-Fi 6 routers, the DIRX3000Z also uses the latest industry security standard WPA3 or the Wi-Fi Protocol Access 3. Apart from that, you can also make or configure a guest network wherein you can have a separate or different password and you can even allocate how much is the cap data on that network. I think this is very useful in cases that you're not comfortable giving your password to your guest or to any other persons apart from your family member. In my speed test, I placed the primary router in the living room and the secondary router in the bedroom. I recorded the speeds in different intervals and recorded the same range of upload and download speeds. Usually more or less 300 Mbps download speed and 200 Mbps upload speed. Of course, this router also comes with a D-Link companion app. And to be honest, I'm quite confused because there are many D-Link apps that are only intended for a specified unit or specified model of router. For this unit, we are using the D-Link Wi-Fi Connect. But in fairness, it is simple and intuitive and it's very easy to use. And you can also use this app to download the latest firmware for your D-Link devices. So the question is, should you buy the D-Link DIRX3000C Wi-Fi 6 mesh router? So first and foremost, I should say that it's a very powerful Wi-Fi 6 router. In fact, it could easily be one of the best routers from D-Link. This is because you don't have to worry about latency issues on your network due to overloading client devices as the router could seamlessly manage devices and maintain faster speed throughout the network. The router is also very ideal for your smart home devices wherein you can easily manage multiple smart devices in your network. This device can solve issues in your existing network due to overloading of Wi-Fi devices as it take advantage of the Wi-Fi 6 features. So if you're looking for a fast and reliable Wi-Fi 6 router without planning to shed off some cash for the more expensive ones, I think this one is for you. Or simply, if you're looking for the best and the fastest D-Link Wi-Fi 6 router available in the market right now, I think you should consider this. So that's it for me, geeks, and thank you very much for joining me again for another video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Bye!